My blue light beans secret stash. Y'all, this is another day. And I look down here. Now I know you don't hardly see them. Do you see them now? All this time, I've been talking about this plant. I ain't got no beans on it. And right here at the bottom, hidden in the booth, in the corner, in the dark is a snatch of blue lake beans. So I'm gonna pick them. I told you this plant gets away from me. It's sneaky. This plant wants to just go to seed and be done with it. It's, you know, it, it's a bean plant that don't wanna work too hard for it. Yeah, so there's our harvest. Well, the bees are all gone, but the parsnips are now providing a home for the ladybugs. You see, they just love the parsnips. The parsnips are the ladybugs' favorite, favorite nesting spot. They won't leave it. They will go visit other places, but parsnips are home if they can find them. And you see all those aphids? It's got everything she needs. And this is the trap crop for the aphids and the home for the lady beetles. <laughs> yeah. So now we're on the Kentucky Wonder. And um, this one's even harder to see. Let me zoom out. I don't know if it's going to help or not. Maybe if I put my hand on it. Because this one is used to growing in hot areas. So it covers its beans with leaves provides its own cover. There's so many beans in there. <laughs> I don't even know what to tell you. I'm trying to show you. See? Yeah, they're in there. Another sneaky bean. Like you see these two beans here? You think that's the only two, right? Well, no, there's another one that snuck up here that I'm trying to get to. If you look closely, you will see that there are three beans there. Two here, but this sneaky bean here is up there too. Yeah, so Kentucky Wonders, because they grow a lot of leaves, which are great for me who like to eat bean leaves, this is what you see. You got to come in and pull apart and pray to God that you get them all. Alrighty, so here's today's bean harvest. These are my Northeasterners. This one got away from me. I didn't see that one. So you can see it's starting to plump up with seed. I like my beans fat and Romano, flat and Romano style. These are my Blue Lake pole beans. Y'all know what happened with them. They hid on me. These four would have been picked a long time ago. And then these are my Kentucky Wonders. In addition, these are my Kentucky Wonder leaves. I have three or four um, turnip green leaves in there and I'm gonna go pick some more of those. I just thought I'd show you my beautiful buckwheat plants. Aren't those flowers so adorable? They look so um, like a forest floor, you know. Aren't they just the cutest things? Dotted with their white I showed flowers. you guys this. This is my fall tomato bed. These are all cherry tomatoes. If any tomato in here is not a cherry tomato, um, it might be a black creme or one of those darker ones. Those Russian ones and stuff, they don't like a whole lot of sun either. So they might be on the border. But for the most part, these are all cherry tomatoes for the Thanksgiving table, along with my beloved beets, which I harvested last time. I don't know if I took, did a, showed you me harvesting my beets, but they've got new leaves coming on. And I'm gonna let them get nice and lush because these beets give me leaves for two yeah. years. At my squash plant, as you can see, she is putting on squash, but I've been catching these leaves last, late. Last time I wanted to make some stew 
and the leaves had got mildewed on them and I was like I don't know I don't know about that so I'm gonna catch these early because it's got two two points where it's putting out leaves now so I feel like it can reproduce itself faster now that it's got two growing points I feel like I can take the leaves more often because um, I got to get them I don't know I don't know if I can eat them after they get powdery mildew on them well, I was gonna cut that one off anyway so save me some work I'm getting these while they're good yeah see a little powdery mildew on the one I'm gonna get next but so far these are good I can eat these yeah I know it's not pretty Let me take these, because see, I think that one right there is just about to get powdery mildew, and I need that food in my life. This is one of my summer delicacies. You guys don't know how much it costs to buy pumpkin leaves. Way more than it costs to buy pumpkin. That's all I got to say on that. When's the last time you were in the store and saw pumpkin leaves on sale? You haven't, so you can get them in Asian markets, but um, that's it. And um, I'm on quarantine right now. I'm not going nowhere. So I'm, I'm trying to save myself some work in the house. Because, see, if I don't take the, the veining, I don't have to sit in there cutting them out later. See, those are full. See, those are thorny. I just cut those out. So come on, girl. Come on. Come to mama. Thank you. <sighs> And put me in a lazy kind of housewife. <laughs> yeah. It saves me work later. And see, now I've got it down to there's one growing point, and there's one growing point, and the middle is clear. That's where the fruit is. Um, probably got more fruit yeah it's got more fruit too see now the new fruits are coming up where the growing points are see yeah it's July and since it's starting to get powdery mildew we don't know how much longer we have we're gonna get these one two um three four five six <laughs> and whatever else the good Lord gives us we're gonna get these amen push our squash one of them didn't like this spot but the other one's doing great see that's why you got to give yourself some choices you can thin later or the good lord can thin for you but i'm gonna have me some kush squash this uh fall these are my butternut they're doing so good i had to uh, i had to actually pull one of these they're just doing so good and there's one here that i'm thinking about pulling I should just go ahead and take this bad boy out. I don't need that one. And it's not growing as big as the others. So now I have three really nice ones that are grown, that will hopefully grow up this tree. That is the plan. You know, that is the plan. I'm sorry, you can't see this. Let me just, okay. This is my backup squash. And I see my other squash is starting to trip a little. This one's coming along nicely. It's getting nice and big. Yeah, I'll pray for my cucumber. These were planted at the same time. And this, it, it got two leaves on it and it's flowering like crazy, which is a sign that it thinks it's living a hard life. I don't know what to do. It has not been a good cucumber season to me. And cucumber are very important because the squirrels eat the cucumbers while my watermelons grow. If I have no cucumbers, the squirrels mistake water, baby little watermelons for um, cucumbers. So I need cucumbers. So y'all pray for my cucumbers or if the Lord needs to tell me something, just just um, let him bless me with that word in Jesus' name. Hey everybody, hang in there. We still going with this thing. You can get it in. Yes, Jesus loves you, and I love you with all the Jesus in me. Be blessed, beautiful.